CAO Black in Torpedo. Hey everybody, okay, this is Cigar Vlog. Please excuse the noise, it is like stupidly windy out here, and I was totally not planning on this. So, I'm standing in a position where hopefully you can actually hear what I'm saying. So, this is CAO Black, handcrafted, imported, blah 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 blah. It's wherever they make CAOs, I think it's Honduras. But the unique thing about this is that it comes with this little cedar jacket here. Now what this is, is a small paper thin strip of cedar veneer. And the whole reason why this is on here is because when you cut it, you take this off, and this just uh, slides right off like that. And you light the cedar, and use that to light the cigar. Now, of all the oddball lighting schemes out there, of uh, using a match versus a Zippo versus a butane lighter, this is probably the only one that I personally have noticed actually improves the flavor because you add a little bit of a light cedary note to the background, which is definitely welcome. So, seeing as how it is just horrifyingly windy out, I think I'm probably going to have to get this cut and lit and uh, just kind of show you the aftermath of the cedar afterwards because. Uh, I can't, I can't really mount this anywhere that's free of wind to an acceptable level. So, I'm going to get this cut lit. I'm gonna, I am going to use the cedar, or at least try to. There's no guarantee on that because it is just freakishly windy out here. So, uh, either way, I'm going to get this cut and lit and get back to you after that. Okay. I kind of got it. Kind of. Always make sure that's actually up before putting it back in your pocket unless you're actually like setting your pants on fire. Whew. So that was definitely a pain in the butt because it is so windy it kept going out every two seconds. Otherwise, clean tobacco, a little spice, a little earth, a little cedar. I can't actually put my finger on one specific flavor to point out to you. So, so far, this is shaping up to be good. Most of them had so far been pretty good, so I'll try to see if we can pinpoint anything. I'm going to smoke this down about the first inch, see if anything stands out. Hopefully you can still hear what I'm saying. I'll see you at the first inch. Alright, so, about an inch in, I think I'm somewhat out of the breeze, maybe not. I'm trying to find a good place to stand here so I can actually talk and still be on. Oh, I hate wind. So far, I think we're probably going to find a good dark ale. Uh, huh. Stand to get away from the wind. But that ain't really okay. So, it's kind of flex. A lot of different flavors going on. Imperial stuff. Okay. Flavors of subtle flavors all kind of mixed together, and it's going to be kind of fun to actually pick out what's what. Anyway, my hands are freezing. You probably can't hear what I'm saying because this is so fucking bad. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and smoke this down halfway point. Okay, so, pretty solid halfway point here. I'm noticing there's quite a bit going on here. Uh, a lot of deep dark cocoa, uh, sweet cedar. Yeah, unless, uh, I didn't mean, uh, I kind of misspoke when I said cocoa, I meant coffee. Like a dark espresso coffee with a touch of cocoa in the background. There's an earthiness to it, kind of a sweet cedary note with a touch of spice. Overall, a very interesting cigar. I just wish it wasn't on such a uh, messed up day with freaking wind all over the damn place. Yes, I am not a fan of wind. Especially cold wind. So, anyway, um, <laughs> the ash just fell off, so... So far, even wind, you know, regardless, the, the construction of these is actually pretty top-notch. CAO is one of the uh, top-end boutique brands. They end up making some really good stuff. The Moon Trance is one of the uh, better, quote-unquote, flavored cigars. It's not quite a Drew Estate, but it's passable. This is, on the other hand, not flavored at all, just a very nice cigar. Well, I'm going to smoke this down to the nub here. And yes, the band decided to come off right before I even lighted it. Lit it. Lit it. Lighted. Um, because
because the pants just do not want to stand on this. So, I'm going to smoke this down the nub. Hope my fingers don't freeze. I'll get back to you then. Alright, final update here with the nub. The flavors have been pretty consistent throughout. They just kind of uh, mature and kind of come a little bit more to the forefront. Overall flavors, good strong espresso. A little bit of cedar, a little cocoa, a little braininess. Retro Hill has got kind of a meaty, almost a uh, breadiness to it. Overall, for the price, a very good cigar. Provided, of course, you can get it on a nicer day than this. Would definitely recommend. Beyond that, though, kind of a simple start it and just kind of go with it kind of affair. Like I said, the flavors just kind of intensify and mature as you go along eventually stand out a little bit more. There's no real changes or anything like that, so that's not a bad thing. But if you're into cigars that are a little more interesting, uh, well, this is one of those cigars you can kick back with and just shut your brain off and enjoy it, as opposed to trying to pick out uh, you know, whether or not the flavors change. Whew. I'm kind of grasping the straws right here because my fingers are freezing and it's like windy as hell, so I'm trying to wrap this up kind of quick. There's not really a whole lot to say about it other than the fact that it's an excellent cigar for the price, and uh, yeah, I can definitely recommend these. Whew. Other than that, that's pretty much all I have to say about it. Good cigar and a crap day. Anyhow, if you like this video, if you like, subscribe, leave me a comment, let me know if you had a different experience. Uh, be sure to check out my Twitch stream Sundays and Wednesday nights at midnight to 2 a.m. If you can't make the live stream, that's always recorded for about a week or so afterwards. Other than that, that's pretty much all I got. See you next time.